Hello again, Chrissy here at A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Thanks for being here today. As you read the title of this video, I'm sharing all about a math resource I'm utilizing for two of my elementary age students. I reached out to Della at The Beauty of Play to sponsor this video. She kindly agreed and also provided a coupon code for me to share with you. So thank you, Della. I reached out to Della because I had been following her social handles for some time. I did my research on her math curricula, browsed the website, and I knew this was our next math pick. Multiplication and division years 1, 2, 3, and fractions year 1 through 2. First, a little bit of background on this resource and the creator. Della is a homeschool mom, educational consultant, math coach, and curricula writer. She also has a blog, and I can't encourage you enough to visit her website, The Beat of Play. You can read her blog, shop her resources, and or book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Really, there is a plethora of goodness on her site. Della also has a YouTube channel, and I will leave all of her social handles and information in the description box of this video. About the curricula, this is not an open and go curricula. I would call it more of a learning guide. And if you watch my content regularly, you may be familiar with that style of resources as we prefer learning guides over textbook or curricula. Della refers to these resources as a journey and I agree with that. The focus of this resource is on the foundations of multiplication and division and or fractions through a whole child approach with movement, manipulatives, mental math, games, repetition, and discoveries of patterns. So let's start with multiplication. Here I have bound the year one to three bundle. So it's a long-term plan over several years. My plan is to start in year one and continue our rhythm, which has worked well in the last year where I guide a formal math lesson once, maybe twice a week. Our work usually rolls into a second day and then the rest of the week is left open for exploration of any materials or the environment. In the last year, Bella and I worked through an informal intro to multiplication through manipulatives. She also created a multiplication flower main lesson book, and we sprinkled other supplemental living math books. However, this year, Noah, age 8, will be joining in as we continue to explore multiplication, and so I knew this would be a great fit for us to uh, work on together. Year 1 might have some repetition for Bella, but that's something we value instead of fearing in our homeschool. Luna, age 6, is welcome to observe, and she always joins us in movement and play. The supplies that are recommended to pair with this resource, rods. Uh, these rods are a collection of rectangular rods of 10 colors, each color corresponding to a different length. This material provides endless opportunities to introduce, investigate, and reinforce key math topics such as addition, subtraction, counting, place value, geometry, measurement, multiplication, and division. I purchased a set on Amazon from a popular educational brand, Hand to Mind. The issue is, and it's not with the product, it was my mistake, this set does not include enough pieces. I believe it's only a 72 piece set and I need double that. So I've already ordered a bigger set from the brand Learning Resources. It's a 155 piece and I recommend that set instead. Also recommended our base 10 rods, which I decided not to purchase because we have Montessori beads and I think that they can be used for the same work. Block crayons. We love both our Stockmar brand and Falana brand. Uh, these are expensive crayons, but I'll tell you that they're worth it. First, the quality. It's a different type of buttery pigment than regular crayons. Also, they will last you several years. I've, I have three kids who use these several times a week, and we've owned our sets for about four, maybe five years now, and still have several years of life left in our crayons. Colored pencils, we have several sets, different brands, from Target to Prisma, a good in-between brand in quality and cost effectiveness is Arteza. Stamp pads, all of our pads we used and abused, so I did have to pick up a new set. This is a set of 20 washable non-toxic ink pads from Amazon. Sidewalk chalk, and we have a bucket full in the garage for outside play. A main lesson, block book, I think Della recommends a large Strathmore spiral bound drawing pad. And I agree, some of you may know that we've been using large Strathmore pads for years. The large size is ideal for your students who benefit from a larger canvas. And Strathmore has quality paper. As a supplemental resource, she also recommends the Usborne Elementary Math Dictionary. This is a great resource to have to reference for math ideas and concepts. We have the Illustrated Grammar Dictionary, and it's one of our go-to resources for language arts. 
So I'm happy to add this math dictionary to our resources. This is not necessary. There is a 100s multiple chart printable provided. However, Della did publish a blog post about making a 100s chart out of blocks and I was inspired to recreate one purchased a set of 100 inch unfinished wooden cubes then Bella and I got to work we utilized our Lyra watercolor pigment and painted three coats each block we didn't use a sealant I've been making peg dolls for years using our Lyra watercolors and I've never had an issue or a need to seal them uh, Della did a wax resist with crayons to have the numbers in white but we chose to use a pencil first and then go over the numbers with a sharpie it was super simple and Bella really enjoyed this project. I've always said that there are so many learning opportunities and meanings in creating our homeschool materials. All right, let's jump back in. So if or when you get your copy of this resource, do yourself a favor. Don't skip through the introductions and reading portions of this guide. Della has laid out so much encouragement and wisdom in these pages, looking for opportunities away from the table. Uh, some of the greatest encouragement that I've read about teaching math or I've ever learned about teaching math is in here. And Della shares that the idea is that math is meant to be one of wonder and discovery, looking for patterns and relationships in numbers. Many of us have fallen to the idea, probably through our own educational experiences, or I know that's how it was for me, that if we teach or learn a concept and drill it, then we or the child will understand and retain it for a lifetime. And that's just not how our brains work. Della encourages repetition and exposure to a concept several times and even more rest in between. And that's just something I've learned in this homeschool journey of my own is observing and teaching my different children and their different learning abilities. And I just love to hear that permission to repeat and the permission for gentleness and rest. With all that being said, you'll also find encouragement on the growth mindset. It's a mindset of knowing that if you practice, you'll get better and what is hard now won't always be. Challenges are good for the child and we should hold back from helping too much. And I love that encouragement. However, I love even more that Della has included strategies to implement during these challenges. In this introduction, you'll also find uh, information and portions on math journaling, narration, color coding, rhythm, mental math tools, and the language of math. There is also written explanations of specific fundamental work that can be done with each number each year. Some examples are the multiplication flower, numbers on a 10 point and 12 point circle, circle medallions, movement, number line work, number compositions, multiplication chart, counting wheel, and riddles. Della also has several videos on her YouTube channel and she links them in this guide. So in year one, the progression and main block is in introducing the multiples through skip counting and with a hint of introduction to division. There is an introduction to every number one through 12, but not in numerical order because there are some patterns that are easier to memorize than others. We're finding patterns of the 100 chart, jumping on a physical number line, uh, utilizing a counting wheel, water coloring, uh, or coloring a multiplication table, rod work, weaving, number compositions, circles, there's nesting line work, and practicing division through line work, and of course, our notebook or main lesson book work. In year two, we move into more in-depth understanding of the concepts. So more time is spent on working on the facts, which are memorized through rhythmic movement. Counting wheels and games, we'll explore more number lines, uh, the 12 point circle, medallions, and more extensive use of the rods are used, like building multiplication towers. We also introduce the 15 point circle and explore more division with number lines, rods, and circles. In year three and four begins with a review of the material from year one, then progresses into teaching the multiplication and division algorithm. In this year, we'll also begin to use the term common multiple, explore permutations, and dive deeper into more complicated math and division, like division with remainder, introducing square and triangle numbers, double digit teaching area, and more. 
I also wanted to make sure that you can see here included all of the video support links that are included with this curricula. Finally, Della also includes templates like the multiplication flower, circles, a 100s chart to fill out, and several practice worksheets. So I turned on the camera for our first lesson, which is Introduction to Tens, to share a short demo with you. I started with asking Noah to pull out all of the tens blocks out of the 100s chart, then encouraged him to sequence them in order, giving him space to notice and problem solve. Notice here my Bella was eager to assist. Then we all observed the patterns found within the tens. One, two, three, four. So that's a good observation. So look, Bella's saying that it goes down to ten. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. Ten, ten twenty, thirty, forty, and 50. then. I brought out our musical instrument basket to explore the rhythm and beat in Counting by Tens. One of the activity suggestions is creating a life-size 100 chart outdoors with the sidewalk chalk. And we'll have to revisit that game because my kids would love that. With our Florida summer storms, this specific day we had to adapt to indoors. We used our 100s chart and each student chose a favorite peg doll. Noah went first and I encouraged him to place the peg doll he chose, an astronaut, on a multiple of 10. Then counting by 10s, he moved the peg doll up and down the chart. For example, telling him to jump his astronaut ahead 20 or jump back 30. We did that several times, then Bella was ready for a turn. I encouraged her to stand her toadstool peg doll on any number and adding multiples of 10, 20, and so on. Eventually recognizing that the peg doll ends up above or below the number it's on. I modified for our young Luna girl with a simple say it and spot it. Bella and Noah took turns calling out a number from the 100s chart, and Luna was to spot it and hop her frog peg doll onto that number. Other explorations in the intro to 10 are making a staircase with rods, creating a number line with sidewalk chalk, and finally working in our main lesson books by filling in the multiples of 10 in the 100s chart printable. Before I close out the video, I want to do a quick flip through of fractions year one and two. On Della's site, you'll see her recommendations on the order to use her curricula. She breaks it down by year and which bundles or concepts should be grouped together. But ultimately, she recommends using her curricula in the order that suits your family best. The supplies for fractions one or two are very similar to the multiplication list. However, Della added colored cardstock paper, which we have plenty of in our homeschool supply stock. And this is for the purpose of creating manipulatives in the circle explorations. And the 100 block multiplication table uh, that we DIY'd is also recommended. There's also an introduction section that goes over tips for teaching fractions, different mindsets that are useful, like the use of man math manipulatives, implementing games. Della also explains the reasoning and relationships behind why fractions are being introduced through having in this guide. 
In year one, the focus is to discover fractions through a sequence of having halves with a variety of manipulatives such as the circles, number lines, and rods. We'll also explore patterns in counting fractions, sequencing, sorting, and comparing, equivalent fractions, adding and subtraction, multiplying, and division of fractions. Again, including activities through movement and art, like creating a physical timeline, building with the rods, and there's an origami project in here that I'm really looking forward to. There's also a section on the living math application of fractions in music, money, and time. In year two, we work from fractions year one with more focus on equivalent fractions. There are a variety of exercise recommendations to reinforce the work of equivalent fractions along with the four processes of fractions. We'll create fraction flowers and a fraction chart in main lesson book work. Learning concept of addition and subtraction with like denominators with circle and rod manipulatives. There's a fractions game and baking recipes. Finally, an introduction to fractions, multiplication, and division. Again, in this guide, you'll also find links to her support videos and uh, templates and worksheets. All right, guys, those are the flip throughs of the Beauty of Plays Multiplication and Division Bundle year one through three and Fractions Bundle year one to two. Every time I'm going to say multiplication, my brain wants to say plutification. And if you know where that's from, please leave a comment. And I encourage everyone to stop by Della's site and browse all of the wisdom and ideas she has for homeschooling. Information on all subjects like foreign language, geography, history, nature studies, language arts, experiments, seasonal traditions, freebies, seminars, coaching, and more. So please check the description box for all of Della's info and a coupon code for you to use on her curricula. As always, thanks for watching this video and thanks for your love.